What's up everyone? In this video, we are going to be working on the basement bathroom. I'm gonna get the drywall up, set that shower base, shut, set the shower walls, and then we're gonna move up to the bedroom that is going to be my bedroom. So make sure you stick around and see what I got going on today. All right, so we decided to do an accent wall in the main bedroom and what I did was I ran some tape to mask off everything just so that I'm gonna have a perfect line when I peel the tape. And another tip that goes on top of that one, besides just masking, is to run a bead of caulk along that tape line, super, super thin. And it's going to end up giving you a crispy edge when the tape's peeled because it's gonna go back behind the tape and then it's not gonna allow any paint to get onto the other side of the wall. So I'll kind of show you what I mean here in this corner where if you just run a super, super light bead of caulk all the way up and around, it'll peel perfectly and you'll never even notice that the caulk's there. All right, so whoever posted that caulk idea online was clearly lying because it turned out like crap. And when I peeled it, it peeled completely off the wall. So do not do that. Um, I saw another one that might work a little better where you paint the old color on that wall and then it like seeps in behind the tape. I can see that one working a little bit better, but even then that's a lot of work. So what I ended up doing was just getting good at cutting in, which I've been doing forever, so I'm pretty comfortable with it. But yeah, do not try that whole caulk thing unless you're painting right over it when it's wet. Then it might work, I don't know. I'm never trying it again though. I'm, I'm good enough at cutting in that I don't really care. So I've got it completely cut in. This side kind of sucks because it was a little wavy as far as everything goes. So what I'm gonna do is come back and do the peach color, whatever you wanna call that and then it'll cover up those little ugly spots. But the ceiling turned out pretty good. And that wall needs a little bit of touch up as well. So this is where we're currently at is one black wall and then the rest are this peach, which it's really called taupe tees, but 
call it peach. All right, so I got the bedroom all done and all of my furniture is in it. And what I did was I'm living in it right now, but there's still a few little odds and ends that I have to finish up and some furniture that still needs to be bought. But here's a quick look at how it ended up. So when you first walk in, we have the dog beds just laying on the ground. What we're gonna end up doing is getting a little table that goes up pretty much to where the door is over and then back down. And then we're gonna fit the dog beds right under it. We're gonna use two different ones but right now we have the map of everywhere we've been and that probably won't stay there, but we'll see as far as what happens with that. As far as the windows go, I need to finish caulking around it, but that's pretty much all that that needs. And then here is how the bedroom turned out with the bed in it. So it's not a master bedroom per se, but it's a pretty solid size. And then as far as the closet goes that I built, we have this for how it turned out. I've got the shelf sitting in there. And then now we're gonna do some box shelves on the lower side. And I've got a big rack with a rod to hold the shirts and stuff up top. And then you'll have storage down low with those boxes. And I need to mount those still as well. So I'm gonna leave it at that. In the next video, I am going to jump into the next room, which is going to be my office. And then from there, we are going to work on a couple other things. So if you like this video, make sure you stay tuned by subscribing and clicking that like button because it's gonna be the easiest way to let you know when I post new videos. So like I said, hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you in the next one. Thank you.